Climate change is strongly suspected in the growing intensity of western wildlife. 2014 and 15 saw back-to-back -back record fire seasons. So how do we control these big blazes? King 5's Glenn Farley on a new initiative to get fire fuel under control by using it to build homes. When you visit a forest, what do you see? Sometimes it's big swaths of trees killed by pests such as the spruce budworm. Our forests are often choked with dead branches, bushes, and other forest debris that would have burned out naturally in low-intensity fires. That was until a century of fire suppression allowed all of this to build up. Firefighters now trying to burn off some of this in the spring after the snow melts, what's called prescribed or controlled burning. It's a story we've been bringing you for years. This is an area that was burned out years ago, and you see all that scrubby stuff is gone. In fact, if we were to come here centuries ago, this is what an eastern Washington forest should look like before generations of fire suppression. What's burnable in the forest is labeled as fuel, and forests that survive for hundreds of years with low-intensity burning are now dying in the kinds of major blazes we've seen across the West in recent years. I see flames moving really fast. We're worried about the patch of pines that are over there. More wildfire, more drought, more insect outbreaks. And the, uh, the truth is we've been somewhat lucky in Washington and Oregon as compared to our immediate neighbor. Meaning California. On a conference call, environmental scientist Robert Scheller of Portland State University worries about climate change. One of the things being discussed in the U.S. Senate is not only burning debris, but getting the Forest Service to mechanically remove more of it and turn it into lumber to help reduce fuels. Washington Senator Maria Cantwell. In which uh, large, even five, six, seven-story buildings could be built with this kind of uh, construction. To make bands of the forest more fire-resistant, try and stop fires from setting any more records. In Seattle, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.